Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and today I'm going to be doing a video on how you can use Notion for university. So I don't know about you, but my classes are starting next week and today my university just announced that our term two or second semester will also be online. So what that means for me is that my entire last year at university will be done online and although it's like not the best, it's also something that I can't control. So instead of like being sad over it, we're going to spend our energy into our notion and making sure we are organized and prepared for these online courses. I feel like when I'm at home and just sitting doing online classes, it's so easy for time to just go by and you're like, oh my god, like my assignments due next week already and like it's harder to keep track versus if you're actually going to school and being reminded by your professors that this and that is due. So it's really important that you keep like agenda or like a journal or like a planner just to make sure that you document everything and so Notion I think would be a great tool for you to use as students or even working from home it's just a great all-in-one tool to get everything organized and no I am not sponsored I wish I was but I am a small channel so um, this is just because I found this app this summer and I fell in love with it and I really want to share with everyone and recently I watched two videos from these youtubers that I really love and it's Rowena Sai and Chris Yu and they made videos about how to use Notion but I just found that it wasn't too like suited for students and so I wanted to make one and make my own template um, for students so yeah without further ado let's just get right into it so we're just gonna get started right away and I'm gonna quickly show you my home page and how I'm gonna customize this for school, but also how to create your own templates and your own page to keep track of everything that's happening in your courses. Um, this is what I set up over the summer and this really helped me track just my weekly and daily to-do list. What I love about this app is that it's super customizable. So like this emoji thing is so cute. Basically you can add different emojis and it'll also show up on your little list on the left over here. But I chose a sunflower just because it's a very positive image for me and I also chose the title of this page to be good morning because I will be checking this every morning before the start of my day making sure that I know what I need to do. And then you can also customize your covers and like you can choose from pictures or you can go to unsplash and they have different samples or you can actually upload your own and yeah so i just chose this one because i'm going with the bullet journaling vibes and i really like the like white screen and like with the blue and purple accents this is a quote that i have always stood by um i think it's really important to acknowledge the days that we're not okay and that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with feeling sad or feeling negative emotions but also i've just finished this drama this korean drama and i've been obsessed with it so i thought this would be a really fitting quote and then so this first section here is basically like a weekly at a glance to-do list but basically i have three things that i have to do for work and then i have a little life section um which honestly is just the templates i haven't really like customize it yet and then also a Christy Kaylin section for my social media. In order to make this friendly for school, I'm just going to make a section for school. So we're just going to copy and paste that and I'm just going to change this one to school. And we're going to do that again because I'll actually show you what I'm doing but um, I'm going to drag it right here beside it and when you do that, make sure the vertical line is showing drag it right beside and right here i'm gonna be doing readings actually no i'm just gonna do courses and i'm gonna make a thing for my courses um while also formatting this because i like everything to be nice and pretty but courses and then we're gonna delete all of this because we are going to turn it into a toggle list so i really love toggle list just because you can kind of show everything and then minimize everything but if you do the slash button and then you click toggle list, you can actually enter in your courses. So I'm just going to quickly pull up my schedule so I can add in my courses. But this is the contemporary Chinese popular culture Asian diaspora. So these are all my courses. And what I like about this is you can go in and add in like different things. 
So maybe you want a to-do list, like read chapter one before Tuesday, or maybe you just want a bullet point and you want to say email professor about syllabus. And you can really customize it depending on what you like. And like I said before, you can just hide this when you don't want to see that. Um, and yeah, so there's that um, for my weekly to-do list. And down here, I actually spread it out even more into daily goals. And this is the week ahead. Basically, you can just schedule in things like laundry, um, I don't know, um, buy textbooks. And if you finish them, you can click the box. And if you don't, you can always just move it to another day. And it's really convenient. Um, and yeah, so lastly, for my homepage, I have the calendar view. And I personally like the calendar view just because you can schedule things in like first day of class and then you go to types and you can actually tag them so you can tag it for school and then it shows up just like this and for example if i want to say like tomorrow i have a doctor's appointment and then we can just do a type and then i will create a life one and you can actually change the color here and then it shows up as life so that's pretty much it for my homepage, um, just mostly adding in the courses section. But now I'm going to show you guys how to create your own page for school. So we're going to go here and we're going to add a page. And the first thing I always do is just go and look at the templates because they have lots of really good ones and different themes over here. And I actually really like the grade calculator um, just because I like this little grid here and they already have the functions um, computered in for you to calculate your grades. So we're just going to click use this template. And first thing, we're just going to go ahead and delete everything that we don't need because it like makes everything super messy. And also here, we're going to also delete stuff that we don't need. For example, I don't need to know when I submitted it. I don't need to know the days late because hopefully I won't be late. Um, excuse, late penalty. Now we get to customize it to our courses. So I'm just gonna pull up a syllabus. This is Folklore and Pronunciation Diaspora 195. So I don't like this emoji thing, so I'm just gonna take it out and you just wanna open and you can delete it, remove, and also change this to the assignment names. And it is worth 15%. All right, and we're just gonna duplicate this. Modules and participation. And now we are gonna change the scores. And over here, I'm just gonna put in notes. So for example, your research essay, you can say that it is a 1,000 word paper, um, this is a 8 to 10 minute video. And because I like it like all pretty and nice, I'm gonna put in a banner and it's just like a short color, like a highlight. And I'm gonna allocate a color for every course. So this one I'm thinking green, so you can just add that and it becomes a really nice border. And we're gonna do one more in the bottom. And so at the bottom, like underneath this, I can have a to-do list. I can also start some lecture notes. Week one, week two, and here I can have stuff like schedule maybe with professor, plan, um, deadline, calendar, something like that. And so this is the basic structure that I will use for my courses. Um, I will probably change it as the course goes just to see what works and what doesn't. But this is what I'm going to start with. And actually, I forgot to delete this, but I don't want any emojis for this too because I'm keeping it as clean as possible. Um, and yeah, so another thing that I really like about this is you can actually um, copy the link of this page. And when you go back to your home page, you can just paste it into here. So you actually link the page 
to this. So even though you might be like toggling in, um, like read chapter one or something, you can also just click into this and get the overview of what the course is like. And we're just gonna duplicate this for the other courses that I have. So duplicate. And unfortunately, the other professors haven't sent out the syllabus, so I'm just gonna put in the course code and just um, customize this as I go when courses actually start. I can also copy these, paste link. Yeah, and there you go. So that's what I basically customized for my homepage. And like this might look kind of messy now, so we're actually going to start a new page, and this will be. Oh no, toilet paper. This will just be um, slimmer to this. So I'm just recreating this page for you guys. Um, but basically, you're just gonna type in university and we can actually drag all these in here. Even though this page isn't the prettiest, I just like how it's hiding all the other pages. And I think as the course goes by, I'm gonna customize this page and make maybe like a school homepage. Um, but so far, this is what I have. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's not a super like extreme um, like template, but just because I like things to be more simple. So I'll actually link my templates for the courses for you guys if you want to use this one. Um, and feel free to like suggest any nice ones because I'm always on a lookout for cool templates. It's just so cool how you can customize so much on this application. And yeah, so that is all for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it down below and I can answer them or maybe we can help each other. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. And I'm thinking of filming a desk tour soon maybe just because i got a new monitor and everything but if you're interested please let me know what you want to see and don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can see the next video thank you